I'm Dr. Suvarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Ziva Fertility is conducting a free camp for patients suffering from infertility. We are conducting this camp in the month of May on every Saturday at Kompalli, Sanatnagar, Banjara Hills and Manikonda. Included in this camp are free registration, consultation, counseling and semen analysis. Subsequent treatment options will also be uh, suggested to you and you can avail this opportunity. Hi, I am Dr. Suvashla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Today I am going to explain you how an embryo transfer is done. We will show you in subsequent videos on an ultrasound how the embryos are put back into your uterus. But let's look at what's happening to the anatomy and how we are traversing your anatomy to put your embryos back into your uterus. To do that, we'll have to first see what the anatomy is, the reproductive anatomy. This is the uh, vagina and this is the outer cervix, the inner cervix is here. And then we bypass this and we go into this, this is the uterus. Now the uterus you can see is made up of multiple layers and inside the uterus is the endometrium, the layer where the embryo implants. This is the entire uterus and it has two fallopian tubes which are connected to the ovaries and ovaries are where the eggs are growing, they ovulate from here and the tubes catch the egg, that is the tube uh, makes sure that the egg goes inside it. The fertilization happens in there and the fertilized uh, embryo then is transported into the endometrium and implants here. So this is the natural physiology and to mimic this is our intention when we are doing the embryo transfer procedure. Now in an embryo transfer, we use a small um, uh, equipment or a device called the embryo transfer catheter. This procedure is not done under anesthesia. So you have to understand that it is painless. It's done under sterile conditions, yes, but not under anesthesia um, if uh, we can help it. If the patient has some anatomical problems or is very anxious and it does not want uh, the procedure without anesthesia, that is the only time we offer them anesthesia. Now this embryo transfer catheter is made up of an outer sheath as you can see and an inner sheath the outer sheath is a little stiff and the inner sheath is a very thin plastic tube this outer sheath goes into the vagina and it goes into the um, the inner cervix and waits there the fertility specialist then asks the embryologist in the laboratory to load the embryos the embryologist on their part load the embryos into the inner catheter come into the ot and then very slowly very slowly put the inner into the outer and make sure that the embryos are deposited in the uterus uh, at the right position which is measured under ultrasonography this entire procedure is done under ultrasonography and immediately the outer and the inner are slowly withdrawn to check if the embryos have been put back into the uterus so this is the procedure and is a very simple procedure uh, as you can see if you have any more queries if you are uh, scheduled for an embryo transfer and are uh, anxious you want to um, seek more uh, knowledge about this please feel free to contact us thank you